Hello, welcome to this presentation on breast augmentation by West County Plastic Surgeons. When considering breast augmentation, there are several things to know. These are where the scars are located, whether the implant is placed above or below the muscle, whether silicone or saline implants are chosen, the impact of breast implants on breast cancer, when to consider a breast lift, and then what to expect in terms of surgery and recovery. Breast implants can be placed through a transaxillary approach, underneath the areola, underneath the breast, or through the belly button. Breast implants can be placed either above the chest muscle or below the chest muscle. Placement of breast implants underneath the chest muscle is typically better for very thin patients it can also be used to reduce capsular contracture or thickening of scar tissue around the implant. It produces a more natural look, can preserve nipple sensation, and is better for breast imaging. Placing the implant above the muscle is usually a little bit less painful and may be chosen in some very athletic patients. Another decision is whether to choose silicone or saline implants. Silicone implants were reapproved by the FDA in November of 2006 and are characterized by less visible rippling, a more natural feel, but require breast imaging to rule out leaks. Saline implants, conversely, do not require an MRI, can be performed through smaller incisions, but they do feel a little bit less natural than silicone implants. Breast implants do not alter your risk for getting breast cancer. And even if you do get breast cancer, breast implants do not alter breast cancer treatment. Breast implants do alter mammography. Placement of the breast implants underneath the muscle is typically better for breast imaging. To improve visualization of the breast tissue for a breast x-ray or mammogram, additional views are recommended to fully view the breast tissue. A breast lift is considered when the nipple drops to or below the lower crease of the breast, and an implant alone does not lift the nipple enough in many cases. In some cases, a lift can be performed without an implant to reposition the nipple. In other cases, a breast lift and a breast augmentation can be combined. In this figure, what you can see is that a breast augmentation by itself may not be adequate to lift the nipple in some patients. A patient may choose to have a mastopexy or a breast lift to improve the position of the nipple. But in order to both improve the position of the nipple, but also to achieve increased fullness in the upper breast, both a lift and a breast implant may be required to achieve the look that a patient desires. Breast augmentation takes less than an hour to perform in most cases, some complex cases can take longer. It is performed under general anesthesia and patients go home on the same day. Pain pumps are available upon request and patients usually can get back to work within about a week. The complications of breast augmentation include a leak of the implant or scar tissue or capsular contracture, malposition of the implant, infections, or bleeding. When considering breast augmentation, one should always remember that nobody is perfectly symmetric that larger implants have higher complication rates than smaller ones, and that breast implants are not forever and will eventually need to be replaced. Please see the other presentations on our website to learn more about plastic surgery or call our office at 314-996-8800 to make an appointment. Thank you.